this thing actually started for me a few seconds ago without putting gas on the carburetor. First time. I'm gonna try to start it up again so you can see it run. And then I gotta, it still chugs black smoke, so I have to redo the carburetor, but besides that, with this thing over here, I can't crank it. Alright, see if this thing will start for me again. After I get this idle speed pumped up just a bit. Revs okay. It's the first time I've actually started it without pouring gas on the carburetor. It still is kind of rough, but I've been working on it. The muffler gets really hot. Um, it's got a little bit more work to do on it. I'm gonna get a new air filter for it. Um, basically, all I did. The original carb was completely messed up. The needle seat for the float was gone. So, um, I put this new Walboro on it from the four horse, which is somewhere in my yard rusting because I forgot to bring it in. So, um, I just used the parts from the carburetor that was originally on this, including a choke because the other lever broke off. So, just use this thing, but um, yeah, it runs. I got the gas tank mounted. Um, it's got oil and everything. I changed it when I had it firing before, so. But yeah, when I first started this thing, the muffler started steaming. <laughs> but I put the guard back on it because I had this mostly apart so I could redo the governor, and then. That governor is still messed up. I need to make the spring better, so. But it's a six horse Briggs and Stratton and take 190 overhead valve. I got off the pressure washer. The pump was bad. So I took it off and I finally got it running after five years. I've had it for about five years, so. Yay, now I just need to go get a go kart.